Hi everyone, I'm going to do a quick review for you and a couple of niggles with um, Young Nuo flashes. So first of all, um, I've tried um, a couple of the 568 EX2 Young Nuo flashes and uh, you know to be quite honest I, I find them absolutely brilliant really. Um, I have used them mainly with the wireless function with my 60D. Um, a couple of issues which uh, you could probably have seen on the internet, battery door breaking off, I think to be honest and I'm not saying that people haven't, uh, just got to be a bit careful with it and what I tend to use is two fingers, basically this battery door can, has broken off, it's not the uh, most robust of things and the problem is, is that you press it down and slide it in. But I think if you use two fingers and apply even pressure on it, I think it's been fine. A um, little bit noisy, the 568. Um, the thing that I like about these flashes, and uh, I was doing a bit of a shoot just recently, um, in taking some pictures of some hotel rooms, and I've got my two 568 on some stands with some flash benders and um, it was brilliant to be able to have your flashes somewhere else on some stands and know, listen for the double beep and know that um, they're confirming the exposure basically. Um, you get like a long beep when the exposure is correct. The uh, menu system is pretty self-explanatory. -exp Sometimes you can get a, bit, a little bit lost with it but Using it with the 622C triggers, the wireless triggers, um, you basically just set the flash on ETTL and the triggers give the flash the information, etc, etc, back to the camera for the exposure. So the 568EX2, absolutely brilliant flash, very powerful. Um, I was taking uh, pictures with two of these on um, flash benders in large bedrooms at F11. At 400 ASA, and that's so. That's really that was really good. Um, the other flash that I've just got to try, which I saw and thought seemed quite interested in, was the um, Young No YN685. And um, I have to say that this is a very very close copy. Of, I would say the Canon uh, 600RT flash. I'm not sure if the 580 um, has weatherproofing on it, but everything on this flash has got a rubber cover on it. Um, the covers for the PC sink, there is a little um, accessory thread boss on the side there, which is quite good uh, that you can attach things to. Uh, the PC socket is also under a rubber cover, as is the external um, power socket. I'm not sure if you can see that. Slightly different um, display and operating system, or the buttons, layout of the buttons on this flash to the 568, so a little bit different in its look. Um, the main thing that I um, thought I would try this one for is that basically this flash has got uh, this YN622C built into it. Um, it's also got the RF603 which is another Young Nuo wireless system built into it you, which you can select. Um, but basically this flash completely on its own has got the uh, 2.4 gigahertz um, wireless capability in it so um, have had a go with it and works perfectly basically so um, let's have a go with our with this um, 5d3 Yeah, you could see the uh, confirmation of the of the exposure, um, and 
although I can't show you the, the screen as such, you can probably make that out. Always use histogram. Um, I use the histogram more and more when I'm doing using uh, flash in this sort of system. Your histograms are very good um, telltale of how your exposure is doing. Um, and actually quite good in the fact that I found this little snippet of information on the internet which is a bit of a glitch with the young Nero system. Uh, and I think I found another one as well. The glitch is that if you go into the flash menu system, uh, external speed light control, uh, ETTL to meter, if you have it set on evaluative, uh, I'll just do that now actually, and we'll turn this flash off. Um, if we go into using bounce flash, so I'm going to bounce this flash off the ceiling and we've got uh, one of my son's minions here. So this is on evaluative. Flash says that the um, exposure was okay. I don't know if you can see that but um, it's quite drastically under. Okay. So I'll go back into my flash menu. External speed light control. ETTL2 meter average. Okay, we'll take exactly the same picture. Flash says exposure's okay. And there you go. It's not bad, it's pretty good. If I go, which way do I need to go? Okay, so there's the one I took in average, and there's the one I took in evaluative. Um, I've tried this with the Canon flash, I've got a 430. Um, the exposure is the same, basically taking that picture, whether you um, do it with evaluative or um, average. But the Yongnuo system has a glitch in that if you bounce flash in wireless or indeed on the hot shoe, um, the exposure will be drastically under. Okay. The other thing that I found is if the camera goes to sleep um, or you turn this off and on, or the camera off and on, the um, zoom reverts to 24 millimeters and wherever in wireless you zoom your lens, it will not uh, zoom the lens, it stays at 24 millimeters. And you have to go back into the uh, speed light menu for the setting for the zoom, take it off 24 millimeters, put it on auto and it will then work like that. Okay. Um, so there you go really. I've, so I've got two 622Cs which I can use with these two flashes. Okay. I've also got the 622C TX which is on top of my 60D and that um, works obviously um, all the flashes that on the 622 system and it works absolutely brilliantly it really is um, you know if you're looking for a wireless system to use I use I use ETTL quite a bit but obviously in manual um, just as controllable if not more so for a lot of people I have found that if you do get um, some white areas or some some lighter areas in a photograph, the ETTL does tend to shut down um, the power a little bit when it sees that. Um, so if you are doing some pictures with um, a wireless speed light setup and that picture may change, uh, you may be better off doing it in manual um, because if not, the exposures will change from picture to picture. So that's about it really. If you've got any questions and there's something I've missed out, just let me know. I didn't want to go through the whole setup of these flashes because it's quite comprehensive, there's quite a lot on there. But um, just basically using it in ETTL, it's pretty reliable. Um, just those two points to note out in that in bounce flash you need to have your camera set on average metering under the flash control not on your camera's metering 
but under the flash control metering. The Yongnuo will only expose correctly in ETTL on average, not evaluative. And the other thing to point out is if your camera goes to sleep or anything like that, the zoom function will revert to 24 millimeters fixed. Okay, thank you very much. Hope you found that of some interest. As I say, if you want to know anything, please ask me a question, I'll always reply.